Hi, in this video we're going to take you through the gaze point analysis system. It's a very easy to use eye tracking software application uh, where you can create a project, um, record some data, and then perform your analysis all uh, within just a few minutes. So we'll start by creating the project. Create a new project and we'll call that example. And then we can do a, ver a variety of media types. So we've got images, so still images, uh, video files, um, we can do screen capture, um, what's on the screen, uh, and then web pages. Uh, so in this project we're going to use just images and videos. So we'll select an image we want to add, it's called Add1, and we'll have the display duration for four seconds, and then it asks if you want to copy it to the project folder, and so we do. yes we do. And we'll add another video or image for four seconds. Copy that into the project folder. And then finally, we'll select a video. And we'll set that to uh, 10 seconds. And copy that in. So that's it for creating a project. It's all ready to go. Um, each uh, media file will be um, shown on the display. So typically you'll set this project up on a dual monitor system. And so you'll have a subject on the um, main system or the, the main display. And then as the experimenter, you'll move this uh, window to the secondary screen. Uh, and you, you'll get a feedback on what the user was looking at as they were performing the experiment. So the project's ready to grow. Now we're just going to set up the eye tracker. And all there is to setting it up is running control and clicking calibrate. So each user needs to be calibrated. You can do the five point or nine point calibration. Five point is faster, nine point is maybe a little more accurate. So it depends on if you're going for speed or perhaps a little more accuracy. And that's it. So the eye tracker is now set up and calibrated. Um, user's free to, to move within the field of view of the camera. And you can see we're now linked in with our analysis software and I'll record the study. So just glance around, look at the images and then the video. Okay, so that was the uh, recording of the study. Uh, and now we can analyze the data. We'll just take a quick look and make sure everything looks reasonable. Scroll through the video. Uh, this little window gives you feedback on what the user was up to. Uh, we can turn that off. And right now we're showing a fixation map. So we're showing fixations, which has a fixation ID and duration. I can scroll through the recording, look at what I was looking at. Uh, you can also visualize that as a heat map. And you can um, probably hide the cursor. The cursor is more important for um, doing screen captures on where the user is uh, moving their cursor. And let's look at an image. So what we're going to do is show all the gaze data. So we're going to show the four seconds of data. So this is a heat map over where I was looking on this image. Same with this, where was I looking? And we can flip to a fixation map. And so that gives you some very quick uh, feedback on where your user was looking. Um, let's record another set of data. Just so we have a little bit more to aggregate. Looking at the tip of the pen. Look down at the case point logo at the bottom. So the system will let you aggregate any number of subjects, and we'll draw those, the analysis, as a different color. So on the different fixation maps, we can play this. You can see it's drawing out, and now I looked at the logo at the bottom, and we can change it to two seconds of history. Okay, and of course you can do heat maps as well. And um, now let's do some areas of interest. So in an image, 
we can create a area of interest just by highlighting the region we want to select and we can change the transparency <clears throat> give it a label and let's see okay so we have one user that just touched the box so we can calculate the statistics at a click of a button um, number of um, subjects who viewed it when did they start to view it how long did they view it how many revisits uh, how many revisitors and so on so you can get all these statistics based on your AOIs and of course we can do dynamic AOIs as well so if we run this one through all you do is move your time slider to your time point that you want to start the AOI at and then we'll copy it um, when motion starts and then we will add another AOI so we're basically setting keyframes or key points on the AOIs change to transparency and we'll play this back from the beginning so you can see AOI shows up dynamically moves across and statistics, statistics will be computed on it as it moves um, likewise we can create um, well we'll leave it at that um, and of course you can then now export all this data so we've got an export option and export will generate uh, raw data so you can analyze CSV data uh, you can also um, record a still image and you can record a video so if we look at our output files in the results folder you can play back the video that was generated and you can generate these videos um, with the fixations or heat maps uh, whatever you had configured in the analysis software so you can get the um, still images you can get video and then you can get statistics as well um, and of course I didn't run the analysis on the statistics and then when you export that you get the, the values so that's pretty much it. In a couple of minutes you can get a project set up, data recorded, and do your analysis. So it's extremely easy to use, um, very simple, um, hardly any learning curve whatsoever. Uh, and it's a great way to get started with eye tracking um, and do these powerful eye tracking studies.